Now, as we know from past Booker Prizes, picking the winner will have been a really tough assignment. And to find out more, please welcome the chair of those judges, Professor Maya Jasanoff, who is a historian of the British Empire at Harvard University. Hi, Maya. So you've obviously read all the long lists and you knew about what qualities drew the shortlist together. And I wonder if you could say what qualities you think the shortlisted novels share. Well, first of all, they're all terrific. Uh, but beyond that, I would say that they all share a sense of uh, innovation and interest and excitement about language and what can be done with stories. They're all very immersive, albeit in very distinctive ways. And we were struck that many of them, indeed all of them, one way or another, really sort of meditate on the way that our present moment relates to those that preceded us and those that may be yet to come. Well, I was thinking, you know, you're a historian yourself, and even in those one-line summaries I gave, you get a sense of these novels, in a sense, reflections on the times we're in by looking at the past, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I think that we are all living in a time right now when we're quite aware that things are different. Um, things are uh, in part different from what they looked like in the past, and we're in some ways trying to deal with the legacies of the past, which many of the authors here tonight are looking at. And we're also aware that things may change even more in future, and that's something else that some of the authors here tonight are very deeply engaged in.